making money as a barber, making over a hundred thousand as a barber. Some people do it, some people don't. If you only care about the money, you'll never do it. If you really care about the haircut, the money will follow that for sure. It's easy guys, it's a mathematical equation for all the barbers out there. It's like, hey, you should easily be able to make 100,000 a year. What are you charging for the haircut? So if it's, if you're charging $30 for a haircut, you know, start to hone your uh, craft in. And then, uh, you know, and then you can go up in a price and uh, you know, it'll all be worth the value. Everything has to be worth the value. And so look, you know, if you're a, you know, worth a $20 haircut, then do a $20 haircut and knock a bunch of them out and start developing the skill to, uh, to take your craft to the next level, you know? And then you get paid more. And then, you know, just being there and everything else, showing up and, and being there to pick up the phone and, and everything else is, look guys, what tools are you using? That's another thing. Any one of you barbers that wants to know how to make more money, uh, you know, send me a comment. I'll make a video about it. It's easy. Being in the right environment is, is, is one of the big things. Kind of like, show me your friends. I'll show you your future. It's like, uh, you know, show me where you're at. You know, what shop are you? What kind of, how do you look? It's how are you? carrying yourself look when you're done with a haircut do you kick him out of the seat within two seconds or do you make sure that he's enjoying it and liking it and you know all of those things will dictate your paycheck and whether the person you know feels that value or not Look, if I see that someone's charging $20 for a haircut, you've already shown me the value you're worth. Not much. So it's like, you know, have the skill to have the value. It's not how many clients can I get out of the seat, it's how well can I get that one client, Sarah, to look. Because he's a walking billboard. Every single one of the clients are walking billboards. If you do your best haircut on there, you know, you do five haircuts a day instead of the 15. You, you can do 15. You know, the, I'm at that level, but you got to, you know, knock five great haircuts out and watch how many people come back. And then soon that'll lead you to 15 a day or however many a day that you want to do. You want to do 100 a day, do 100. The most haircuts I've ever did in one day was uh, 58 haircuts. And that was from, God, 7.30 in the morning. I got there at 6.45, opened at 7.30, and cut hair till about, God, I would say 10 o'clock at night. So when you're complaining about doing 10 haircuts, you'll never be rich. If you're in the Albuquerque area, go to sirmensalon.com and book an appointment. You got Faded by Pat G, you got me, TJ, uh, Ruby Stone is here, and you know, all of us are elite. Everyone has an elite mindset. This isn't just a haircut, it's art to us. It's something that I'm creating. This is a painting for me. Like I take pride in this, what I'm doing. So it's like, that's another thing. Clients can feel that. When I'm in the barber chair, I can tell if they take pride in what they do or if they don't give a fuck. It's, and that'll be, it's easy to.
So look, with your lineup, you get to choose. Do you want it just curving down here and around there? Or do you want it coming from the side here and then connecting to like lightly right there? Yeah, to the side. Okay, I can do that. I got you. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was softening it up before I put the line up, that way it has integrity. Yeah, and see how that looks right there. Oh, like yeah. And then I'll outline it with the shirt blade when I get the design, just so it even goes into a better effect. Watch, you'll see all these little tiny things pop it into perpetual motion. And what's up with you? How, how was your week? It was good. Nice. Yeah, I just uh, got a job in sales. Sick. I work at the same company. I was working in the, I started in the warehouse. And then, uh. We're moving on up. Yeah. Oh yeah, sick. Growth and development, that's where it's at. Yeah. Any movement up, it doesn't matter what it is. I don't care if you're, whatever job it is, you could be making a million a year, you could be making 10,000 a year. Anything that elevates is good. Yeah. Yeah, sales is gonna be awesome either way just to, you know, that'll have you on point with whatever. It's a lot of stuff to learn because I sell parts for like the, the Caterpillar equipment. Oh, cool. All those machines. So, like, customers will call and they want like a certain parts of a machine and you just kind of like doing investigative work because sometimes they don't always have part numbers. So, you're just kind of looking through the computer until you find the right thing. Oh, that's sick. I see what you're saying based on the description. Yeah. So it's like someone's calling you, but it's like they might not know exactly what part it, or they don't have the part number, but they're like, oh, this is the part that I need. Yeah. So you're like, oh, shit, let me go fish it up and see if this is it. Yeah. And so how do you confirm that it's it? They'll use, like, um, sometimes it's easy. They'll be like, I just need, like, the fuel filters <coughs> and oil filters. Oh, yeah. For this machine, and then other times it's like, like yesterday, they had like cam follower and exhaust follower for the machine. That I had no idea what it was, so I just have to go to my like colleagues and ask. Thanks. And they help me out. Oh, yeah, you're doing good. Good for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the circle needs to be relieved. Oh, it's. I've been really grateful because, I mean, I've only been there for like two years and my boss saw, you know, my potential and, you know, gave me a shot. Nice. Me. And so now it'll be all up to you what you, you know, what you do with it. Yeah. Run with that shit for sure. When they're giving you one shot like that, it's like, dude, you could probably get a you know, a bunch of bigger shots if you just handle this one the right way. That's yeah. Good. You already have people from like other departments. They want you to come over to the crushing screen side and you can learn there. That's another, you know, step up. Sick.
How does that razor feel? Does it feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah look how clean that comes out. Look at, with the, just the razor, it makes it a whole different. That's where it's. And Christian, you could either sit with me or Pat. I don't care whichever one you want. Ruby's not here till the 10 o'clock, so it's. See. Guys, I'm not wearing them today, but shout out to Contact Lens Gallery. They're the ones that got me to Tom Ford's and put me in some glasses I could see now and everything. You guys will see me with them on. I, I got a worm and. service for free it's fucking i mean do you want some off the top um nah let's just leave it there you know a little grow out a little bit more to get all this yeah it's you can say it's that watch here we're gonna eventually i think we're gonna open up doing a tiny bit of color so you'll be able to if you ever get that done we'll put a bit the professional way like using pop riot or something real slick or you know something that'll last and so what about you Christian you want to sit with me or Pat oh, I'll sit with you okay yeah and you can watch your own done right now it's... I have that shit for your wife's jeep still because it's sitting in my Garage. Can you bring it or you can give me a call? I'll come pick it up. Yeah, the, the map that says SRT on it in the back, and then I take everything out of there. I have that other thing, the, the crossbar thing that goes like in the back where you can pull it. It's like a shade cover. Uh -huh. I have that. Montgomery and like Morris. Oh, you're up here in the Heights. Oh, I know where that is. There's like a Dion's right by there and everything. Yeah, yeah, right by there. Right yeah. there I love how you, my God. That's right. I know exactly where that is. There used to be some fucked up apartments right across from the Dion's. They were, uh, there was like low budget, whatever, fucking for the, but I remember those for sure. Right, so yeah, there's see. like a, I live like right by the park. Oh yeah, I know where that is. Oh, you're you're by CNN kind of. Yeah. And see what you think of that. That's awesome. Yeah. And see, I didn't go all the way across with the line of just having it to the sides right there. Yeah. Just so it kind of goes in. Yeah. And what do you think? Yeah. Sick. Oh yeah. Super. Put that fucking. 